Bell, do you want to call Bellabog? I'll dial the number. Hello, can you hear me? This is Faithen. Ah, uh, it's the two Faithens. Uh, how are you? I'm sorry to trouble you by calling in person. I'll jump straight into the commission details. This time, we'd like to ask your help in retrieving the Mark III in-hollow industrial pile driver. The pile driver had been working diligently in the hollow before its disappearance, just like the other two machines. According to Grace, this machine is particularly good at moving across difficult terrain within the hollow, and it's faster than any other machine. That's maybe why it was able to run so deep into the hollow. Sorry to have kept you waiting while we tried to locate it. The good news is, its signal hasn't moved from where we first located it. I'll send you the data we've got. Looks like the pile driver has stopped somewhere. In that case, let's find the nearest hollow entrance before it moves. Fairy, would you mind? Not at all. Generating route within the target hollow. Route generation complete. All right. Let's go and get this done. I'm at your disposal. How can I help? for some hard labor? I'm at your disposal. Starlight, it's- <sighs> Time for some tail care. This feels even more bleak than the last hollow we went to. The ether concentration here is higher, too. Well, it has been a hollow for a long time. It's not just dangerous, it's also close to the old capital. No good will come of staying here too long. Let's just find that pile driver ASAP. The proxy said the pile driver isn't far ahead, so it shouldn't take too long to bring it back, right? Blind optimism can be dangerous, Anton. After all, the heavy-duty grappler and boring machine we found both experience pretty significant personality changes, and Grace has yet to find the reason behind it. <laughs> so what if it's changed? It's still our own company's smart machinery. How much trouble could it really cause? Let's get going. Target located. Proceed with the recovery. Detour quietly. No problem, boss. I'll crouch. <gasps> Have we been spotted? Machines hype speculation. Please clench your teeth. Watch out. You're gonna fall into the fissure. Uh, is everyone alright? 
I'm all right. We need to figure out a way to get back. Machine's hydraulic impact mechanism is speculation. It intends Starlight Knights never get hit by the same attack twice. Unfortunately, Master, you are no. <laughs> that old trick again? Cut it out! You think I'm gonna give up if you push me away again? Save it, Anton. Tell it in person. Building complex detected ahead. Confirmed. There is nowhere for it to go.
Master, the target construction machine has been successfully surrounded. Should I broadcast some trash talk to insult these juicy style? Vicious. It. In Hollow Industrial Pile Driver Type 3, Friday! It's seen us. I wonder what personality this one's gonna have. No worries. We already convinced two problem children. It's time to hear what this guy has to say. It's charging at us without even a word? It. Uh... It's running? What are you all waiting for? Go after it! Uh, finally, we cut it off. Hold it there! You can't let it get away again! Sick! completely silent this whole time. Maybe his language module is broken? No way. It can obviously understand us. Okay. I know you can hear me. Let's talk. You ran away with two other machines. One was a dude who desires self-fulfillment, the other a young girl passionately in love. What about you? Who are you and what do you want? What? Don't you have any weird character traits? How dare you? Huh? Traits? Ridiculous. Mere mortals. How dare they speak us out of turn about my most wondrous mission? I'm the enlightened sinner. I cometh to stabilize the seal and guard this place on my mentor's charge. Thou shalt leave at once! The Enlightened Sinner? Stabilize the seal? Ah, I get it. <laughs> so these are delusions of grandeur. Enough! <sighs> Do you have any idea how dangerous it is to go running around in a hollow? Thou art the unreasonable ones! The seal is weak, and once it is broken, this place shall be devastated! Save me. I shall force my way through! Stop right there! My mentor, I cometh! It dodged. Ben, stop him! Uh, if possible, I'd like to solve this peacefully. I, I'm sorry! Great job, bro! Grace! Now's our chance! 
I'm here. Leave it to me. <laughs> I appreciate your imagination, my child. But let's talk about it when we get back. Sis! The seal is breaking. Don't undermine the most wondrous cause! Wait! Let's talk! Stay away! <laughs> Turns out this guy can actually talk like a normal person. Listen to me! I'm not lying! I hear the calling from my mentor horse! I can't fail him! <sighs> What's going on? Why is he mentioning that name? <laughs> I can't even remember how long it's been since I heard his name. Horse Bellabog. Bellabog Industries, previous president, and my father. Kaleda, look! This is what Daddy told you about. Bellabog's first independently developed smart construction machine. This is the prototype you were talking about? When will you finish building it? Well, that'll take a whole lot of money. Money Daddy's company just doesn't have right now. Plus, we lack the production to build such powerful machinery. But don't worry. One day, my little girl will be riding in the machine her old man built. You know, it's not just any machine. It's got a heart your dad made in it will be able to understand your commands and endure all the hollow's dangers. <sighs> wow. Here, Kaleda, give it a name. When you call out that name, it'll accomplish whatever you need it to. Dad? You promised to play with me today! Kaleda, Daddy's busy right now. Bidding on the new project, the prototype's manufacturing fee, then there's the final review at Pioneer's Memorial Plaza. One minute, I'll be done soon. Daddy promises. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Liar. What? Mr. Bellabog, I'm sure you understand this will be better for all of us. Daddy... You want me to pretend like nothing happened? Are you kidding me? Just come out with it! What exactly is in there? Hello? Hello? Say something! Kaleda, stop it! There's an emergency. I have to go now. Just stay at home and be good. Daddy will be back in no time. I promise. Just like that, he vanished. That liar. President? President? Uh, Ben, you were saying something? Yes, the commission is completed. Ms. Proxy came to collect their bangboo. <laughs> we might have had some trouble along the way, but we've recovered all three machines. And with that, all the commissions Bellabog assigned you have been completed. We were able to get out of that tough spot, thanks to you. Thanks again for your help, Phaethon. Grace is analyzing the machines right now. With her skills, she should be able to find the reason that... Uh... What? You got something to say? There's something on my mind.
When the pile driver mentioned the name horse, you made such a weird face. Uh, oh, would you look at the time? Uh, President, if we don't go deal with that commission fee from his proxy now, we won't be able to transfer the money tomorrow. Ben, don't worry. It's okay. If we don't tell them, the proxy could just look it up online. Besides, they helped us and they're trustworthy. We don't have to avoid it. Proxy, you saw Anton on that show before, right? Did the host mention years ago there was a scandal involving Bellabox president who disappeared with a bunch of money? Well, that president of Bellabog was horse. Horse Bellabog. So, yes, he was my father. The night before the old capital fell, a large sum of money suddenly disappeared from Bellabog's accounts, and the old man went missing. Pupsec investigated and said the financial burden of Bellabog, coupled with the possibility the memorial square we were building at the time might not be completed on schedule, caused Horace to embezzle the public funds and run. Bellabog Industries had an extremely hard time because of one old man's irresponsible behavior. But we're back on our feet now. Seems like I brought up some bad memories. <laughs> it's fine. I stopped thinking of Horse Bellabog as my father a long time ago. The Bellabog of today has nothing to do with that selfish piece of trash. Koleda, how could you talk about your own father like that? It's true a large sum of money was missing from the company's books, but no one can prove it was Uncle Horse who took it. The investigation result and the claims he absconded with the money were all just pub sex speculation. I know all the bad press brought about by public security and losing your father hurt you, but you shouldn't resent your own father like that. You were too young to spend much time with him before he went missing to us. You don't know how wonderful you... You're the one who doesn't know anything! <gasps> I think we're getting further away from just explaining to Ms. Proxy who Horse was. And Grace, weren't you and Anton working on those three machines? What are you doing here? I came over to tell you I found a clue as to why they ran off. Oh, really? Great! Mm. After examining their logic cores, I found they'd all picked up the same signal from deep within a hollow before wandering off. The signal's identification code format is the same we use in the company. When decoded, the text reads, BLG Prototype. That's right, Koleda. Unbelievable as it sounds, the signal seems to be coming from the original prototype. The prototype? What's that? It was the first smart machinery made before the former president went missing. Our production line was somewhat outdated at the time, so we couldn't complete manufacturing independently. Apart from the core parts, everything else was outsourced to another manufacturer and produced according to our blueprint. Unfortunately, the old capital fell before the final delivery payment was made, even though the machine was completed. <sighs> the manufacturer was swallowed by the hollow and lost forever, along with the prototype. But it looks like the prototype is out there somewhere, and maintains some level of functionality. You may not like what I'm about to say, Sweet Pea. I know you don't want to drag up the past, but that prototype is still company property. That prototype logic core has a lot of value. So what are you gonna do? Go get it back, or pretend it doesn't exist? <laughs> Calm down, guys. There's no need to jump to conclusions today. Even the most durable components can experience mechanical fatigue. Not to mention, we're all human. 
After running around in the hollow for so long, both our bodies and minds need relaxation. Uh, Anton's right. It's getting late. You must be tired. Miss Proxy, please go back and rest for today. If we decide to head into the hollow to look for the prototype, we'll be sure to contact you for assistance. Recipes for all to enjoy. Hmm. Mm hmm. Well, seems like my noodles were just what you needed. I'm at your disposal. Hmm. 
No worries, boss. Take this. I see. You're weak, Spot. Roadhouse. 